Oh. Okay, kilobytes per second, 5,000, good. And we are live with the preparing screen. I just gotta change my statuses to say that we're live. Five, three, four. With at V R Y there. Let's see. Oh, echo. Oh, you're getting some echo? No. All right, let me... I am echoing. You are echoing. All right, let me open up the tablet here. Open up the stream on my tablet. This is a test. Mm-hmm. Let's see, my sound levels are... Okay. Hmm. But your voice is fine, but mine sounds like it's still... Your voice is fine, but mine Oh, okay, still... yeah. I kind of hear what's going on here. Um... Let's see here. So it's a very slight echo. Yeah. Um... It's very tiny. Headset mic, uh, desktop audio. I'm only hearing you once, so this might be coming through from your source. What if I do this? Does that make it sound any better? Testing. 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 Nope, still, still echoing. Huh. I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, this is, do I have two instances of OBS open? No. I don't have anything going on my end um, other than the Ogago sound. <laughs> so I'm going to yep. finish updating my statuses before I forget. <laughs> Stumped as to why it is doing that now. I wonder why. Is your phone near? No, my phone isn't near. It would be making a different noise if my phone was on the cables. Oh, now it's sounding normal. Sounding normal? All right. Hold on. Yeah. Do I just. Just. Hear for yourself, just in case. Just in case. Okay, yeah, you do sound back to normal. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Anyway. All right, back to the back to the game. <laughs> we are That's officially so live now. Take off the preparing screen here. Take off the preparing sticker. So let's see here. Does this guy sell any skill books? Yes. That's mainly what I'm looking for. Most of the most of the good armor you can get, um, you can find from enemies. So mm -hmm. The stuff that you buy is only like if you're falling behind, or if you really like the style of that, um, or if you have a lot of money and you can just shop for fashion. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, no skill books from this guy. Or if you're collecting like the swimsuit armors, because apparently you can go through this entire game wearing nothing but swimsuits, swimwear. I mean, it is a valid option. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I keep forgetting I could change the level at any point, so I was looking at levels, I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> Let's see, what level am I? Let's see, we're level 20 currently, so we're just cruising. 
So, what's our oh. quest say? So, investigating the source of the smoke. <laughs> Three. The one thing I love about this game is just looking up at the sky. Same thing with Outer Worlds. Yeah. Seeing just the mountains the go by. Or seeing the, yeah. the clouds go by. And just the atmosphere look to everything. Yeah. And you can see the... See from here you can see the Bionis sword <laughs> going across. Side note, how far did you get in Outer Worlds? Um, I was just thinking about that, like, I'm I'm kind of going into my nocturnal phase and I'm like, <clears throat> I should plan on doing more uh, Outer world streams in the mornings. Mm -hmm. I might try that this morning, not sure. Mm -hmm. Like this upcoming morning. Oh, I see, what's that over there? That looks like maybe a treasure chest that I left behind? I did some side questing between, uh, uh, since our last Xenoblade, some off-cam side questing. Yeah, there's one treasure chest I left behind way over here. So yeah, the game will save the last 20 treasure chests that spawned in, so you can collect them later. But uh, if I recall, I got a treasure chest... A treasure chest dropped in a place that I couldn't get it. So basically I'd have to create 20 more treasure chests without opening them, if I want to get rid of that last treasure chest. Ugh. It's nice oh, that God. they won't. It's nice that they won't disappear, but at the same time, you get those situations that, like, if you want them to, to disappear, you have to jump through a couple of hoops. Actually, I think that might have been saved here. That might have been fixed uh, here in Definitive Edition. It was the, a problem was. It was a problem that was only uh, present in the original version, as far as I as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. You know, just looking up at the sky, you see more of the Bionis itself. Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought, like, way back in the in the SNES days, I thought Chrono Trigger was, like, the kind of game where, like, you see that thing in the background? You can go there. But, yeah, Xenoblade really seems to have um, brought, that, brought that into, like, actually happening. Yep. Yeah. I mean, Chrono Trigger was pretty revolutionary for mm -hmm. its age. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if the staff that the staff at Monolith Soft worked on that too, back when they were part of SquareSoft. And it wouldn't be surprising. Maybe at the very least, the PS1 port. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like you've approached that scene there. Something's buggy here. Yeah, mm -hmm. the tires are bald. <laughs> Someone's left a buggy out here. That's strange. Who was the tires buggy in this place? <laughs> and it's pretty new. Okay. Is it Sorry. brand new? Minor gripe. Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen Psychic to the driver? sword powers. Yeah. <laughs> There's a boy! He's being attacked by monsters! You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. You know, the follow thing both helps and hinders. In this case, the the quest line. Yeah, it both helps and hinders at the same time. 
the whole let's look for anything near water. Yeah. Not so much looking as it is following the dots. But yeah. At the same I mean, even in the original. So huge. Yeah. In the in the original, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't do without it. In the original, there is still like there wasn't a follow line. There was an arrow that showed you that that basically just pointed a beeline to where you needed to go. And while that was like it was better than nothing, but at the same time, if you had to go up or down, well, no, the the arrow would point up or down. But like, yeah, that's the thing, like. It wouldn't show you how to get to where you needed to go, so I much prefer the line to the arrow. Because mm -hmm. the line will actually point out a path to get so, there. Over there. Ah, ah. I'll wait till you get there. I don't know how uh, powered up everything is over there. Um, I'd say go ahead and max out your levels. Okay. Doing it now. Yeah, I'll do my uh, leveling. Unless I find like a really good leveling trick I want to share, I'll probably do my leveling off cam. Mm -hmm. Hot tarot. Huh. Yeah, tarot As root. A... Yeah, I guess. Hot boba tea for people. <laughs> well, is it boba tea if it doesn't have if it has uh, taro jelly instead of boba? In the uh, boba made from taro root though. I thought it was made from tapioca. Wait, is tapioca made from taro root? Hold on. We're gonna research this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, boba tea. Cassava root. Cassava root, okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's I know a there's... a root of some sorts. Yeah. There's... I might be remembering wrong as well. Like, there's a... It's either a taro-flavored boba tea that's available at a place near me, or... Um, or it's like taro jelly, or it's like a grass jelly. Like when they, when you get the, uh, when you order boba tea, you can either have it with boba or with like some kind of grass jelly, which I think is taro root, but it might be like taro root grass jelly. I don't know. Mm. One of my favorites is the fruit juice uh, boba. Right. I don't really like the tapioca oh, yeah. pearls mostly in the tea, but mm -hmm. I like the fruit filled ones. Okay. Oh. That can wait. Go! Get out of here! Leave these guys to us! Uh, okay! Let's do this! Ready when you are! So these are Armus or Arden? Ardens. Berserk ones. That was easy. <laughs> oh, you've leveled up way further than okay. I have. <laughs> it should work now. Great! You saved my skin. My buggy short-circuited, and then there were those monsters and... Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. <laughs> I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Um... Where are you two heading? If you've got time... You should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a Homs camp here. But they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? 
There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. We are going to expert mode and we are choosing to hold down our character back mm -hmm. to scrub form. <laughs> Making sure all the name tags, all the enemy tags are red. Let's see, 12. Mm -hmm. So if I go into expert mode, and 12, so 5 below 12, or 6 below 12 is 6. I went for 6. Well, I could do 6. So let's see, if I fight this at level 6. Looks like we don't have a choice! Are we insane? I'm really feeling it. Yeah, Shulk. Get stuck in. Yeah. You can definitely do this. All right, now tear him up. Now it's right time. Okay, Ryan. Turn away. Let's take this. Come on. Yeah. How perfect for a chain attack. There Wait, is just too up. much. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Let's attack that. Let's edge. Right. Yeah. Ryan time. Right, now okay, Ryan. <laughs> your place. We did it. <laughs> the one thing that I needed lots of in Xenoblade X. Hmm. Oh yeah. Looks like we don't have a choice. Are we insane? I'm really feeling it. Yes, you'll get stuck in. <laughs> Why is it? Oh gosh, there's more things running in the middle of this. Additional minions. Yeah. We are fleeing. We are fleeing. We are running like the cowards we are. Ryan, revive me. No giving up now. I... Ryan, this is not uh, good. Okay, sure. Got it. Grant spike, lowers physical damage, and attack, or block enemy attacks is going to be activated. Uh, use it, and I'll use Monado Shield. And nothing's going to stop us. Behold the power of the Monado. This is tough, but using chain attacks definitely helps. I remember the first time playing this. I wanted to spend just so much time here. I want, like, I was at a point where I just wanted to squeeze every drop of content out of my RPGs at every step of the mm -hmm. way. I must have There's broken so much like that this game has to offer. Yeah, I must have broken like twenty or thirty hours in this area alone. Mm -hmm. I would often go through these games so slowly that uh, that I would forget what the main quest was. See, so I probably should. Oh, frick! 
Taking on three enemies at a time might be a bit too much. I'll max out for this area. Ah, uh, uh, frick. Dead. Antali. Oh, hey, here's someone. Refugee. Who's this? The enemy's weak. We're literally so weak, we're beating up a child yeah. monster thing. The ponios. Yeah. How about the Armos? Yeah, the daughter one. Yeah. Ooh, new skill learns. Let's have a look at that. Skill trees. Alright, learned the first humanity skill. Let's switch Shulk over to Intuition. And let's share this skill. Oh, we don't have enough enough affinity coins to spend on that. All right, Rhyme also doesn't have enough. Let's see what skill branches you've got. You've learned your first enthusiasm skill, so let's give you diligence. Oh, someone with a quest around here. What have you got for me? White Eduardo at Rugwell Lake on the Bionis Lake during a thunderstorm. Oh, you've got more quests. Alright. What else you got for me? Violent Andante. Died again. Okay, maybe I'm too much of a star. <laughs> It's okay. We can remedy this. <laughs> Let's not lose our heads, though. Yeah, I maxed out my level again. <laughs> yeah, I need to level up off screen. Hmm. I mean, 15 is not bad for this area, but the mm -hmm. thing is, I don't want to be good for the area. Yeah. Uh, where I want to be been? at least enough to where it's not a Nino Cooney situation mm -hmm, all yeah. over again. Yeah. Nino Cooney was just brutal. Mm hmm. It's that, like, that bit after the end that bothers me the most. Mm hmm. It just feels so bland. Mm -hmm. It feels like the game really should have ended at that first ending. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it just had a bitter note at it all. Mm -hmm, yeah. Like, congrats, you're an orphan. <laughs> I mean, not everything has to have a happy ending. Yeah, Don't yeah. get me wrong there. Like. Ugh. But I mean, it, it felt like they they added the ending out of they they added that extended bit out of spite almost. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you want more? Here, we'll give you more. 
guess what? The kid's still an orphan. Yeah. Have fun with that. Like, I, I can understand the um, the ending being like, okay, the, he has to deal with his mom uh, dying, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, they're not just going to bring her back. Yeah. But at the very least, have someone take care of him, because at the end of the day, yes, he may be a wizard from around all this yeah. area. Like, he but could, he could look with his friend. Kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I wonder about that... Uh, that like Japanese social custom where at like 14 you're considered an adult so you take take on adult responsibilities right which I don't get that because I yeah, can guarantee I that at 14 like even at 18 I we're not I was not ready to yeah. prepare for adulthood yeah yeah and like we're, we're aging slower these days we're, we're aging much slower than we were 100 years ago so like mm -hmm. even 18 might be like 18 is pretty young and people are saying that our our brains are still developing until we're like 26 or something like that mm-hmm like I don't know it, it like on the one hand I felt like I was waiting forever to turn 18 and be considered an adult so I, I was happy that I was considered an adult when I was 18 even though I didn't feel like ready for all the responsibilities I was ready to I was ready to ease into the responsibilities mm-hmm at least, uh, I thought I was. Okay, I'm here. All right. In. <sighs> Choo -choo! Ah! Uh. Don't tell me you were... I've told you a thousand times. We're not ready to leave the camp yet. But I thought... Juju! Sorry, Sharla. That gear. You must be survivors from the Defense Force. Is Colony 6 okay? Did Gaddo make it? Hold on. What are you talking about? We've... We've come from Colony 9. Colony 9? They saved me from some monsters. This is Ryan and Shulk. Oh, so you're not from Colony 6. Thank you for helping Juju. I'm his sister, Sharla. I told them they could rest here with us. Did you now? Well, all right. I suppose that's only fair. Did something happen? To Colony 6. Actually, we're heading there ourselves. Colony 6 has been... our home. It's been occupied by the Mekong. No. I'll tell you about it inside. Follow me. Da -da -da -da. Alright, in the cave we go. Well? Any skill books? Ooh, this guy sells some skill books. Um, not yet learned, so let's get one of those. One of those. One of those. Oh, I've got lots of money. I could get one of each. Possibly. I need to do more side quests. That'll help me, uh, put both leveling and money grinding. Mm -hmm. No, not discard. I want to use them. Or does it just... this holding the item will just let me use them. Yeah. One thing that was kind of difficult for me to get used to in this game was, uh, it doesn't have a traditional item system. You can't just go into a menu and use items like like potions and ethers in Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. So in the case of these skill books, I think just holding them? Oh no wait, no. You would use them by going into your arts. Yeah, there you go. Then it says max art level increased.
just by having the books in your inventory. So what I need, I need more uh, ability points, I need more AP, which means I need to fight more monsters. I'll take a quick washroom break while you're while you're shopping. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, just by entering your arts menu, you automatically level them up. You automatically uh, increase the maximum level, I mean. Let's see, what's this heart to heart? Two characters we haven't met yet. Looks like there's some quests we can take in here, too. Gathering some food. Oh, we already gathered them. Oh, hello. It's gonna be a little OP having all these leveled up when I'm in scrub oh, mode. <laughs> you can also level them up in the arena. I believe you can get well. level twelve. Either 10 or 12, level 10 or level 12 art books, but you still need the affinity points to actually, um, to actually boost your skills to that level. Ah, uh, there's one more quest giver. Just outside the cave, it looks like. Hi there! Someone to tell you, there's an everlasting ether deposit not far from here. Do you know about it? Could you go into could you go into more detail? Yeah, we might be able to help. <laughs> the location's a secret, but it's your it's your lucky day. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You're sure you're not having a laugh a laugh with us? Cause I ain't buying it. Sounds too good to be true. You don't have to believe me. Ain't no skin off my back. It's you who'll be losing out. Suppose I can't can't uh, to go take a look. I smell a rat. So what's it gonna be? You go in or not? Just make your minds up. Apparently, there's an everlasting ether deposit very close by. Leave the camp head right in, into a small cave where it's supposedly concealed. Couple more quests around the around the lake here, around the well, more of a pond around the pond. Yes. So one is a search quest, which I have no problems with, as long as the quest, as long as the uh, quest guide 
will take me to it. <laughs> Wait, you did talk to Charla in the cave, right? Uh, not yet. I was waiting for you to. Okay. Alright. I just, uh... Yeah? Started the conversation, but I'll wait. Sorry. Alright, no, no problem. We had already fought off the Mechon a year ago. At the Battle of Sword Valley. It left us with a full sense of security. The Colony 6 Defense Force didn't even notice the approaching Mechon. By the time the air raid siren sounded, a swarm of Mechon had blackened the sky. They ate people and burned our buildings. Me and Juju dedicated ourselves to evacuating the children and elderly. I don't know what happened next. It's just like what happened to Colony 9. They attacked your colony as well. Yes. It's good that you managed to evacuate so many. We have a Tharon, the Colonel, to thank for that. Him and Gaddo. This Gaddo? He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Uh... We can't lose hope just yet. Oh. I'm certain Gaddo and the other soldiers are alive. They're still fighting. I can feel it. Um... Hmm? You're on your way to Colony 6, right? You bet. We're up for some revenge. <laughs> I bet we can even get your colony back. There you go, showing off again. If anyone can do it, it's you two. Could... Um... Uh, could you take me with you to the colony? Juju! The people here need us. How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard, the Mechon attack Colony 9. That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already. It has to. <sighs> Not necessarily. Yeah. Even if that's Both true, can be true here. No, yeah. Especially if it's true. We cannot expose the camp to any more danger. So, you don't care what happens to the people in the colony? How can you be so heartless? Are you that scared of the Mechon? Juju, what about the people here? Do you not care about the yes. that, about tracking the Mechon over here? Trick question. Yes. Especially when other people are at stake here. Oi, You're kid. not always selfish, you brat. You ought to know how Charlotte feels. Watch your mouth and have some respect. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> I'll go and make dinner. Maybe I was too hard on him. Nah. Shulk? Ryan, you really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really. But he was more of a father to Juju. He'd call him kid whenever he told him off, just like you did. I don't think I'm ready to be someone's old man just yet. Wait, Shulk. Did it happen again? Yeah. You had another vision. Ryan can just oh, tell no. at this point. No! Yep. Juju! I mean, good on him for being supportive here. Mm -hmm. The buggy's gone! He's going to Colony 6 on his own! Stupid kid! We have to hurry. Something bad's gonna happen. What did you see? A deep valley. Everything's engulfed in flames. There's a black shadow. It... kills Juju. Is it... the Mechon with the metal face? Yeah. Where does it happen? Is it near Colony 6? I'm not sure. I think so. Let's get after him, Shulk! Hold on a second. What was all that about? Subtle gratuitous uh, butt shot. <laughs> I know you won't believe this, 
But Shulk can see the future. The future? That's not possible. That's what I thought too. I still can't explain this, but that vision I had will come true unless we stop it. So you're telling me Juju's in danger? Believe it or don't believe it, that's your call. But I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Shulk's visions. Juju. Oh, okay. I can't say I believe you. But what have I got to lose? I like the way you think. <laughs> Charlo, you're... Uh, what? No, nothing. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. When you talk like that, you sound just like Gaddo. <laughs> That's how I know it's not worth arguing. What am I? Some kind of Gaddo substitute? I think it was Charlotte too. I saw it in the vision. But I can't stop her coming with us. I don't know how I can protect her. But I have to do it. I will change the future. So Charlotte has joined. Hey. Debuff immunity. Hmm. Yeah, so we get our cure all cure all status ailments ability right now. Buffs and debuffs. I don't really like the term debuff. Mm. I always thought like this? doff would be a better like buff and doff to match. But that's just my hang up about like um, the words being the same size and same number of syllables. Mm. So I'll grab these just quests. Minor pet peeve. Yeah. I wonder if there are more. Um... Oh, there are more weapons. Hold up. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah, let's go into Charlotte's Arts menu, too, because I just bought those books. Uh, does she have any AP? Oh, she does. She starts with 2,000. Okay, I want to give her... Let's see, out of these... I know she has a yellow, so I'm going to probably save... I'm going to save her AP to, to power that up, a yellow skill. Oh, there's another quest at the top of the cliff uh, overlooking the pond. The cliff overlooking the pond outside of the cave. Alright, grabbing some ingredients. Fertile flammy eggs and brog leg meat. So frog legs and eggs. <laughs> Alright, I think I've grabbed all the quests around here. I can either do them off cam or if they're on the way. I'm doing some uh, minor shopping. Okay. Because I didn't realize. Oh, hey, there's more clothes. Mm -hmm. Make sure to look at everyone's skill trees too. So Charla has, I think she has her first skill in Devotion already um, activated, so I'm going to put her into Perseverance and then Confidence so I can get those level 1 skills um, learned as quick as, I, as quick as possible. Oh, and she can, she has enough Affinity Coins to get a skill from uh, Shulk and or Ryan. Shulk does not have a square skill to share, does Ryan have one? He does. Mental Fortitude grants physical death up at the start of battle with higher level enemies. So I'll give her that. It only costs two affinity coins, too. And Shulk can get Devotion, but he can already use he can already wear heavy armor, so that's not very useful for him. And 
Shola, do you know which way Juju went? One thing I would put some points into is Ryan's uh, sword drive. That's basically his um, his damage burst, his DPS burst attack. As far as I can tell, it deals the most damage in a single hit out of any of his skills. So if you really need a fight to, to if you really need to end a fight right now, sword drive is your is the skill you want for that. And then I believe Sharla has a yellow skill and a red skill. One of them's called I think they're called Head Shaker and Head Shot. Head Shaker is um is the day's follow up to Ryan's Wild Down. So that will usually disable uh if uh, if an enemy has like a spike or an aura, um the day's skill will disable their spike or aura. And also it'll lock their aggro in place so the DPS the attackers can uh, can use their most powerful abilities without worrying about about taking aggro away from Rhine. You ever heard of the Holy Trinity of uh, tank, DPS, and healer? Hmm. Is that a yes uh, or a no? Uh, no. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. But it's uh, it's what most MMOs use as their um, as their battle system. So when you choose a when you choose a class, you're really choosing whether you want to be DPS damage per second, um, a tank which holds which which gets and holds the enemy attention, or a healer who well make sure the tank makes sure the tank doesn't die, or make sure whoever has enemy attention doesn't die, and mm -hmm. uh, they call it the Holy Trinity because yeah most MMOs out there use it, and uh, I don't know I like it. this I think Xenoblade might be the first non MMO to use it. But uh, mm -hmm. now it's it's like so ingrained into um, into online gaming. I'd like to see other systems. Um, I'd like to see them experiment with other systems. Like I think Dragalia Lost, for instance, does not use the Holy Trinity. It uses like more or less just be whatever you want. Um, like some the, there are healers, uh, but there aren't really necessary. Like you can either out DPS the enemy, and it doesn't use an aggro system. I think. That's the main um, the main sticking point with the Holy Trinity is that um, enemies have aggro towards characters, and the more damage you deal, the bigger a threat you seem, or the more healing you do, the more of a threat you seem. So, like healers have to be really careful not to uh, not to overheal allies, because then they'll get enemy attention. Mm -hmm. And then Makes tanks sense. usually, yeah, tanks usually have a taunt ability to to take aggro back. And non tanks have a an aggro reducing ability such as Shulk's Shadow Eye, which um, it immediately it basically like it doesn't turn him invisible, but it re it greatly reduces aggro towards enemies while at the same time powering up the next skill he uses afterwards. So it could backfire if you just if you Shadow Eye and then immediately use a a really powerful attack, you could pull the aggro back onto yourself again. But if you're using it to end a fight, or if you're using it while the enemy is dazed then that's that's a pretty good use of it. I do also like the use of the uh, just the uh, costumes that you can wear mm -hmm. if you don't want to if you don't want to commit to whatever yeah if you don't like the looks, looks like it. yeah that was something that was not a bit that was not available in the original Xenoblade, um, Xenoblade 1. 
I'm I've I've got mixed feelings on it because I like to know I like to in an online game I like to see what your abilities are by what you're wearing and mm -hmm. having a second layer of fashion gear on top of that I mean you look the way you want to look which is great but it doesn't tell me anything about um, about the stats or like what you're geared for what kind of um, like whether you're whether you're geared for I don't know fire or or water or whatever To me, it's kind of a. I feel like it. It. it, it I'm having trouble finding the words for it. <laughs> like when I play uh, Monster Hunter, for instance, and I play as the uh, the healing the healing paladin. I mean, that's not something that I can really broadcast with my armor, but at the same time, like the um, the stuff that I. Or in Monster Hunter 3, like, when I have them in a Habra suit on, you know that I'm geared for lightning. That kind of mm -hmm. thing. And it, it looks nice, and, I'm, and, I, and I play in the, like, geared for lightning style. But if I... Mm -hmm. um, if I go against something where I shouldn't be geared for lightning, then I don't want to look like I'm geared for lightning, even if it is my favorite suit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. You want to make sure... Like you have a easier indicator of what all yeah. you have on hand. And I feel like the second layer of fashion gear, the second layer of fashion gear, kind of gets in the way of that. Mm. On my end, I don't mind double checking the numbers, um, but I do always hate how the nicest looking stuff is often the weakest. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that's like that's a weakness of the Monster Hunter series that like um, if you if you really want to max out for a particular strategy, then you have to mismatch your armor in high levels. Yeah. There are quite a few ways to get there from here, but he's in a buggy, so I think he'll take Ragwell Bridge. Ragwell Bridge. It's not far. It's a really old bridge built around the time Colony Nine was founded. Okay. Let's make that up. Sounds like a plan. Sharla, you stay back. Leave any monsters up to me and Shulk. Uh, what? You think I can't pull my weight in battle? I've got field experience as a medic. If you get hurt, I can use ether to patch you up. Nice. I'm always getting roughed up. <laughs> You'll be a big help. <laughs> I think he's a little too eager for that. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that's perfect. I mean, he, he role plays the tank really well, too. <laughs> the tank yeah. type of character. That is... Probably a little on. bit... Probably a little bit of masochism. Oh, uh, now the front <laughs> suspension's all Just twisted a smidge. Up. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to walk it. They're all cowards. I'll show them all. Like not so, not so bad as that one. Uh, that one paladin in is it bad? Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? But because uh, <laughs> she's just like she's way too enthusiastic about getting hurt, and I don't think she really cares about getting healed either. <laughs> Ryan at least cares about getting healed. <laughs> right. Oh gosh, darn it! You ever heard of that anime? Uh, which one? Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Uh, I have not. Uh, it, like, it's, uh, it's famous enough to have memes, but, uh, it, it's also got that, like, I watched the first season, and it's got kind of a, like, the characters don't really have any development. Like, they just kind of establish themselves as, this is the masochistic one, this is the uh, overpowered mage in a tiny body, this is the the goddess who's completely incompetent at her, at her job, that kind of thing. And then they just kind of do scenarios based on that. Okay. So yeah, I'd say it's like worth watching the first season just to, just to understand the memes. Hmm. But I haven't really stuck with it since then. Okay, this is a red yeah, okay. exclamation mark. You're going to be fighting Mechon, so get ready to use uh, Monado Enchant. Okay, let's sort this out nice and quickly. Aura, 
Otherwise, the other two aren't going to be able to deal damage. Is a virtue. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Teamwork at its finest. Good job, everyone. Who else wants some? Let's keep on going like this, guys. Ooh, if you use your uh, if you use your chain attack, sometimes it'll refill while you're using it, so you can just use it again. Hmm. And then using your chain attack also increases affinity for everyone. Increases everyone's friendship towards each other. So yeah, use your chain attack a lot. If you don't use it, if you have a if you have some chain attack gauge outside of battle, it'll slowly decrease. So yeah, it's a use it or lose it kind of situation. See, I should be able to hear your right. game. Okay, your game sound is coming through on the stream, just not coming through for me. Huh. It's fine, as long as the stream can hear your game. Right. Always use more affinity in the party. Mm hmm Yeah, you wanna you wanna affinity is that is the kind of thing that you're gonna be spending the whole game raising up to max. So mm -hmm. take every opportunity you can to raise it. Mm -hmm. The higher like once you get to like I think three hearts between three hearts between three characters, then they'll have unique victory uh, sayings in battle. Mm to the danger. <laughs> Here to save this brat. Yeah. There's always a danger. Yeah. Da-da-da-da. 
Hey, Shola. Look. It's Juju's buggy. You know, there's bravery and there's lacking no fear. Yeah. He really wants Here's to. He really parts. wants to reclaim Colony Six. Yep. And fight back against what Mechon are there, but yeah, he really doesn't understand. <gasps> what? what is that thing? How strong these things are. <laughs> Juju, what is it? It's Juju. Shulk, is he okay? Uh, uh. Tell me. There's a mech on. It's taken Juju. Oh. When? I'm. I'm not sure, but I don't think we've got much time. Um, you said you saw a deep valley, didn't you? Yes. Oh, there's a place like that just up ahead. And it's even on the way to Colony 6. Yeah. That must be the route Juju's taking. You sure? No other deep valleys around here? Not as far as I know. Well, Shulk, let's move. That has to be where Juju is. All right, I'm going to save as we've hit our one hour time. Yeah. So we'll have to rescue Juju uh, next time we're doing um, Xenoblade. Give us. Probably a great time to do some leveling up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took a bunch of quests around Colony 6. Mm -hmm. I think the first time I played this. Like because I was trying to uh, economize on time. Like if it were if it were before that, if this game came out around, um, say the GameCube era, then mm -hmm. I would probably, I would probably be just, I would have like this rushing feeling that I'd want to just, I'd want to, I'd be pressed for time. I'd like I'd be I'd want to rescue Juju. I'd be like if I don't save him now, he's gonna he's gonna die, and then I'll get like a bad ending or something like that. <laughs> right. But yeah, now now that I know that that's not how open world RPGs usually work, like they don't give you time limits. The whole point of an open RPG is to, um, it was to give you the freedom to, yep. freedom to do to, to continue sorry, the main so quest when you want. I know you waited like a hundred years, yeah. but you could wait a little more. This. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just like. Five more minutes to craft some extra food so I could do other pointless tasks first. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> craft food, gotta do some fishing, gotta do some mining, gotta ride Buy some horses. <laughs> gotta gotta find myself the fastest horse. <laughs> yep. Or the Buying most house, absurd yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching everybody. Have a look at our Patreon link in the description if you wanna help us build our game studio where we'll be making more games like those we enjoy playing here for you. Uh, I also have an artist tree account if you'd like some 3D models made or some voice narration on your website or audiobook. And thanks to Very Random Butterfly for co-hosting today. Check out her channel linked in the video title. Uh, she does some blogging, some thrifting, some painting, and she takes commissions for new paintings, both digital and traditional formats. And we do, uh, every other day we do uh, game dev streams on her channel. And there is always a, an eShop giveaway going on. If you chat in my live streams, you're automatically entered. Uh, of course, friends, family, and collaborators are uh, disqualified, but I'll think of something I can do for, for them separately from the giveaways. <laughs> um, special thanks go out to Joshua J. Sloan, Zed Diggity, and Phoenix Astra for being my top Patreon supporters of all time so far. And on the game, uh, on the game play streams, our... Green block is next, so we'll be continuing East Origins. So, hope to see you all next time! Bye!